Okay, here we have possible types of solutions for the points of intersection of a circle and an ellipse. Figure 6 illustrates possible solution sets for a system of equations involving a circle and an ellipse. No solution is that the circle and the ellipse do not intersect. One shape is inside the other, or the circle and the ellipse are a distance away from the other. We have one solution where the circle and the ellipse are tangent to each other and intersect at exactly one point. We have two solutions where the circle and the ellipse intersect at two points. We have three solutions where the circle and the ellipse intersect at three points. And then we have four solutions where the circle and the ellipse intersect at four points. So in example number three, we're going to solve the system of nonlinear equations. So we have x squared plus y squared equals 26. And then we have 3x squared plus 25y squared equals 100. So we're going to begin by multiplying equation 1 by negative 3 and then adding it to equation 2. So here's equation 1 and equation 2. And we're going to eliminate the x squared variable by multiplying the first equation by negative 3 and keeping the second one the same. Negative 3 times x squared is negative 3x squared. Negative 3 times y squared is minus 3y squared. And negative 3 times 26 is negative 78. And then again, we're keeping equation 2 the same. So now when we add, we can eliminate the x squared variable. And we get negative 3y squared plus 25y squared, which is equal to 22y squared. And then negative 78 plus 100 gives us 22. Now, in order to isolate y squared, if we divide both sides by 22, we get y squared is equal to 1. So now, after we add the two equations together, we want to be able to solve for y. In order to solve for y, we have to take the square root of both sides. And remember that when you take the square root, you get a plus or minus solution. Well, plus or minus the square root of 1 is the same thing as plus or minus 1. So now we have y, which is equal to positive 1, and we have y, which is equal to negative 1. And we're going to substitute those values into one of the equations and solve for x. So we're going to choose equation 1. It didn't matter which one we choose in this scenario. So when y is equal to positive 1, we get x squared plus parentheses 1 squared equals 26. When we square the 1, we get positive 1. If we subtract 1 to both sides, 26 minus 1 gives us 25. And now we get x squared equals 25 and we're going to take the square root of both sides. The square root of 25 is 5, and remember that when we take the square root of both sides, we have a plus or minus. So x is going to equal plus or minus 5. So that means we're going to have two ordered pairs here. We have a positive 5 and a negative 5 when y is equal to positive 1. So we have two ordered pairs, 5, 1, and negative 5, 1 here. Now we're going to substitute y is equal to negative 1 again into equation 1. So when we plug in negative 1 in for y, when we square it, we're going to get positive 1. Subtracting 1 to both sides, 26 minus 1 is 25. Again, taking the square root of both sides, we get plus or minus 5. So again, our x coordinates are 5, negative 5, but our y coordinate is negative 1 because that's what we substituted into this equation. So now we get two other ordered pairs. And those two ordered pairs are 5, negative 1, and negative 5, negative 1. So that means we have four solutions. And that means that our, our circle in blue has been intersected by the ellipse at four ordered pairs.